I wanted to uh, mention one scholar, and um, she's a she's a secular scholar. But that doesn't mean, of course, that just because she's a secular scholar, she doesn't have uh, good things to speak, you know, on the country. I did mention this lady in one of my research papers, and this is so interesting. So this is what she said: because Greek cosmogony and myth can no longer be understood in isolation from their Near Eastern counterparts. It is clear that when importing foreign beliefs as such, the ancient Greeks inevitably adopted Middle Eastern gods. So this is uh, me quoting her and, you know, expanding on, uh, on that. Uh, she also said, this is why the task of integrating Greece into the broader context of the older in, uh, Near Eastern civilization has now been taken on by many specialists. And it's so interesting to me how um, we are receiving um, both from biblical and uh, secular uh, scholars, we're receiving the same thing. And it's just a confirmation what, you know, we've been believing for a while that now secular scholars are also saying. Um, when I was also uh, doing some research, research projects for, for Moody, and, but also for myself, because I have this, you know, like you guys, curious mind, um, I wanted to trace uh, how ancient Near East and, for example, Europe, especially South Europe, were uh, connected. And then when I was researching, I found out that the tribe of Philistines, actually, or how they used to be called the Sea People in the Old Testament, how scientists, even secular scientists, they believe that actually they're coming from Crete, and Crete, as we know, is an island that belongs to to Greece. On the it's on the very south part. So that brought so much excitement because if Cretes and uh, and Philistines, but not just them, other sea people, because there are other tribes and other people, you know, traveling from from uh, Europe to to uh, ancient Near East, uh, you know, region back and forth. They're like exchanging not just goods, not just cultures, not just languages, but also beliefs and religions. I mean, this is inevitable. Like if you live with your neighbor for for generations and for dozens or hundreds of years, you'll get to know a lot of stuff about him and maybe even adopt some stuff from them. And then we see how the Greeks uh, and the Philistines, they would travel to ancient areas and they will come back. And then you see your aha moments start to like, unwrap and you're like, oh, okay. And then you start to see uh, engineers, gods, especially Baal, and how once when you when you discover the Greek pantheon and Zeus, they have some similar uh, characteristics.